In this video we'll show you how to use the new parameters exposing functionality in Substance 3D Sampler. Exposing parameters means your sampler materials are still dynamic after you export them to other applications. For example you decide to expose color and detail controls, which you can then change in Substance Painter, Stager or any applications that supports SPSAR files. Any materials you make in Sampler can now be much more diverse. Let's dive in to see how this is done. You access this feature with a new button in the sidebar. By pressing the Exposed Parameters button you open a new window which initially shows just the tooltip. To dock this window in the UI we drag the top line area anywhere we want it docked. Now it's always visible, which helps when you expose parameters. You have two methods to expose parameters. You can click the push pin button that appears next to parameter when you hover over its name or you right click on the parameter and choose expose this parameter. Whenever we expose a parameter, a color assigned from a predefined color palette. Every filter has a separate color, so you can tell which parameter belongs to which filter. To rename labels, you just right click on the parameter we want to rename. Type in the specific name and hit enter. This helps you organize and clean up your parameters. When you play around with the exposed parameters and want to go back to their default values, you right click onto the parameter and pick reset to default value or you click the reset button when hovering over it. Unexposing a parameter is as easy as exposing it. You right click on the parameter and choose unexpose. You can also do this by clicking on the crossed pin button beside the parameter's name while hovering over it. Exposing parameters on blending layers work too. Let's drag and drop the bread fabric material from the starter assets pack and click on the mask thumbnail to expose the offset parameter. The color sign for exposed parameters on blending layers are indicated with a ring instead of a regular dot. The only thing you have to keep in mind while working with blending layers and exposed parameters is that you cannot move the layer to the bottom of the layer stack. Otherwise the exposed parameters will disappear which is mentioned in this pop-up window. There are some limitations to exposing parameters. Exposing parameters on AI image to material, content aware fill and normal height filters is not possible. Always make sure that those filters are below your filters with exposed parameters in the layer stack. Otherwise your parameters won't be exported which you can see from this orange icon here. If you drag a sampler material with exposed parameters into a new material as a base or blending layer, you can already tweak your exposed parameters giving you more control. This is also good for testing your parameters. You can now save your setup as sampler archive to tweak the layers and parameters at a later time or you can export them for other 3D apps and engines. For the parameters to work you must export it as an SPSAR file. Easiest of all is to use Sentu to send it directly to another Substance app like Substance Painter. In Substance Painter the material immediately appears in the library. We just drag and drop it onto the mesh we use. Then we can tweak the tiling and many other aspects of the material right away. Further down in the menu we find our exposed parameters from Substance Sampler. You can now tweak them right here in Painter which should be a huge time saver and makes them much more versatile. Samplers exposed parameters work perfectly with a huge range of software like Blender, Unreal, Photoshop and many more that supports SPSAR materials. We're really curious what you will do with this new feature. Good luck building your own dynamic materials in Sampler. 